blood of Jesus. Father, thank you for your children that you have brought to this program. Give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the adoration. As many as are gathered here today, I decree upon your life of any power assigned to dethrone your star with sickness. I command them to carry their load and go in the name of Jesus. All the good things that belong to you that has been scattered by the enemy. The blood of Jesus shall gather them to you now in the name of Jesus. Every chain of Goliath, every chain of Herod, every chain of the oppressor over your destiny, let the chain catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Makasetendia. Read a case. Let there be a seven fold amen to this next prayer I'm going to pray. Every wind of wickedness blowing against your family. Every wind of wickedness blowing against your children. Every wind of wickedness blowing against your business. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Let our heaven roll like thunder. Yes. Every agenda of the stubborn pursuit against any life here, we bury them tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As you start another month, the God of new beginnings, the God of perfection, shall arise for your sake in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please have your seat for a few minutes. God bless scriptures very quickly. In John chapter 14, 14. John 14. 30. Please note the scriptures. John 14:30. Hereafter, I will not talk much with you. For the prince of this world comet and have nothing in me. The prince of this world cometh and hath nothing in me. The kingdom of darkness brought their x-ray machine to Jesus to see where they can gain entrance but he said they found nothing keep that at the back of your mind in Jeremiah chapter 1 which I want all of us to confess loud and clear Jeremiah 
chapter 1 verse 19 Jeremiah 119. When you get there, say yes. All of us will read it loud and clear. Are we ready? Let's go. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee, said the Lord, to deliver thee. Amen. Can you read it again loud and clear? God is still in the business of deliverance. I'm with this, saith the Lord, to deliver thee. Now listen carefully. Jesus came to save, to heal, and to deliver. The arena of deliverance is a serious arena of conflict. It is what you can call the ministry of conflict. Jesus asks that demon, what's your name? I say, well, legion. I'm legion for we are many. The other time too, Jesus was in the synagogue. The priest did not know who he was. The people there did not know who he was. But the demons there knew him. They, they knew him. They were the first to harass him. Say, what have you to do with us? Jesus, son of the living God. Have you come to punish us before our time? They say, we know who you are. Say, all these people may not know who you are. Say, but we know who you are. So, the deliverance arena is an arena of conflict. Arena of debate. Arena of contest. Serious arena of argument most times. A man brought his wife here. By the time he dragged the woman here, the woman had done 18 surgeries. Eighteen surgeries. And the surgery drew the man into poverty. And she brought the woman to say, please pray for my wife. Eighteen surgeries. And money is gone. And then they say she still wants to do two more. So I'm tired, sir. You must pray for her. This woman could barely walk when she came in. We started praying. Started praying. All of a sudden. The demon began to talk. But now, the demon was speaking Rubo language. Uh, the husband started to interpret. The demon said, I don't understand English. I speak Yoruba language. So we know who you are. That doctor look So, but before you begin to pray that I leave this body, 
Let me present my case before you. Then I know you are a man of wisdom. This is a demon talking. So I know you are a man of wisdom. You judge the case. If you judge the case and you conclude that I am guilty, I will leave her. But if you judge the case and you say I'm not guilty, I will stay. You are interpreting this to me. I turned to the husband. I turned to the husband. Has this happened before? Say no, sir. She can barely talk. Now she's talking now as if she's holding a loudspeaker. I said, okay, what is the case? She said she doesn't belong to this planet. She belongs to somewhere deep in the ocean. And that because she wants to annoy the queen of the waters, she wants to annoy that queen of the waters. She decided to go to church. So she knows that the woman would not like to hear that she from that kingdom is going to church. So she went to church. And then this brother came and said, I want to marry you. So you judge the case. I didn't come because I want to come to church. I didn't come to look for husband. No, she's gone to marry somebody from our kingdom. Judge the case. Arena of conflict. So we began to, began to argue. Now, well, whatever you are saying, now she has surrendered her life to Jesus. So she has surrendered her life to Jesus. That's so you can't have anything on her. Difficult demons. The inflexible aggressor. Stubborn demons. It's a common phenomenon in spiritual warfare. If you had ever been to deliverance ground, when prayers get to a level at the deliverance ground, you will have had some power screaming, no! I will not go. I will not leave. Some aggressors live at one command. Some live after plenty of commands. Some stay and argue. Some utterly refuse. They even ask me questions. Were you there when a grandmother dedicated her to me? Were you there when you were sleeping with our member? So the agenda of stubborn pursuers, stubborn slave driver is a serious matter in deliverance. But there are always situations where the enemy gives up easily. There are also situations where the enemy remains adamant. You say go, he said no. I said no. Go, he said no. Why? Because of this, because of that, they give reasons. Some will say, okay, if I leave, where am I going? I've been here from the womb. 
I'm praying for somebody at this interesting meeting. Whatsoever power is saying no, they will not let you go. How the aggressive shout of ten Goliath killing amen. They shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. When we say adamant, I mean the thing is becoming unshakable, yes, unyielding, unbending, tough, determined. But Jesus said, Behold, I give you power over serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by enemies hurt you that is the stand of scripture but there are situations where they remain adamant when the Bible talks about serpents and scorpions, it's talking about the power of darkness and all its ramifications. It's talking about number one, the demon gods, the demon rulers and powers that rule over mankind. It's talking about demon gods that men worship, man consult. They hold people captive. When you are confronting this one, it's a different one from confronting a junior spirit. When the Bible says serpents and scorpions, number two, is talking about the strong man. That is an evil power assigned to a person, a place, a thing, a family, a community. And once a strong man is assigned against certain things, you will have to do battle. They are extremely stubborn. But thank God the Bible says they can be overpowered. They can be disarmed. They can be dislodged. Their captives can be set free. I'm praying for somebody here. Any strong man assigned to any situation in your life is buried alive today in the name of Jesus. Let that table rule like thunder. When we talk about serpents and scorpions, we're talking number three about ground forces of Satan. Ground forces. They operate on the surface of the earth. They are serpents and scorpions. Bible talks about the lion and the other. Devourers, looters, and killers. When the Bible is talking about serpents and scorpions, number four is talking about fowlers, hunters of destinies. When the Bible talks about serpents and scorpions, five is talking about oppressors, and six is talking about tormentors in all their ramifications. The Bible even makes us understand 
There are arrogant enemies, raging enemies, very hard slave masters, enemies willing to die than to let you go, enemies that want to negotiate a person's freedom, sometimes on deliverance ground, you hear, let us negotiate. Let us negotiate. Our ministers who said no. We are not here to negotiate. We cannot negotiate with you. I'm praying that the backbone of any stubborn power facing any situation in your life shall be broken in the name of Jesus. They shall be broken in the name of Jesus. Light our heaven, rule like thunder. Now, listen carefully. Under one situation, where the enemy refused to let a person go. I'm going to list out those situations now. Because if that situation is in place and you do not remove yourself from that situation, the enemy will stubbornly stay. Number one, when you stubbornly stick to sin, the enemy will not let you go. Sin will take you to places you never intended to go. Sin will keep you longer in bondage. Sin will make you a permanent prey of darkness. We pray for a sister who was half dead. A demon spoke from her and said, Man of God, you have asked us to leave this sister. We are going to leave her. But mark our words. We shall be back. Because she's a fornicator. She will fornicate again and we shall be back. So when you stubbornly stick to sin, the enemy will stubbornly stay. Two. The enemy refuses to let a person go. When there's an evil promissory note on you by your by your parents. Your parents have made a promising note to the devil. And now you want to ask them to release you. They keep referring to that note. But, 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 our father said, but, our mother said, but, but, they took our help. Came to us for help. Promised to not. A lady was failing examinations. Her mother took her to the witch doctor. The witch doctor made some rituals and gave her a compulsory instruction. So, your daughter will start passing the exams. If you sacrifice a goat to that river once a year. And she started sacrificing goats. And the daughter began to pass. She kept doing it. She kept doing it. Until the lady got a degree. And left the university. The mother stopped. So well, she doesn't have an exam to take again. There's no reason to keep going there. But 
evil powers don't forget any promise anybody has made. So the year one, no good, year two, no good, year three, no good, year four, no good. Every job interview she went to, they will say, you are the best. But we don't want you. You are the best. We don't want you. You are the best. We don't want you. And that's what drove her back to prayers. Because then the Lord revealed that you, you, are, you have a promise note. It is sad when a promise note is upon your life and you are completely unaware. This is what I'm declaring now. That any satanic promise you note on anyone here that is working against any part of your destiny, I bury them now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Three. The enemy refuses to let a person go when an evil angel has been assigned against you. An evil angel assigned against the person. So anywhere the person goes, this evil angel follows you about. Four. The enemy refuses to let a person go when your destiny, when your divine destiny is considered risky by the enemies. So if we allow this woman to go, if we allow this man to go, it will be dangerous to our kingdom. It will bring prosperity to people. Set captives free. So they stay and give the person a fight. Five. The enemy refuses to let go when a person is bound by multiple evil covenants. Plenty of covenants. You are praying, you are breaking, you are praying, you are breaking, but what are you going to do when they begin to put a person in evil covenants from childhood? And the person is now 40 years old. They have been engaging the person since you were a toddler. Now the person, so for 40 years, the person had gathered evil covenants. So you think a young scum would always say break and everything breaks like that. No, it doesn't work like that. It has to be dealt with. The way a person removes layers from onions. Layer by layer. Layer by layer. Until everything is over. Six. The enemy refuses to let go when a person is under multiple curses. Multiple curses. There is plenty of curse upon the person. And they have to be individually broken. But you are not, you are just doing general thing. You don't even know. The enemy does not want to let go. I'm praying for somebody here. Every covenant, every curse, give him power. 
to any problem in any life here by the power that disgraced Goliath by the power that disgraced Herod and by the spirit of the prophets I command them to die in the name of Jesus yes I will fall them back Seven. The enemy refuses to let go. If the property of the enemy, the property of the enemy is in your life, they have things in your life. They won't let you go. Even if you are the one that bought it, they won't let you go. If it's ordinary jewelry, they won't let you go. If it's something you're attaching to your head, they will not let you go because it belongs to them. You didn't know it belongs to them because you just want to make yourself look fine. But they know it's their property. No, they don't not let you go. You're just keep harassing the person's life. Harassing the person's life. Until the person evacuates their property. This is a very, very serious matter. I want you to understand this very well. Eight. The enemy remains stubborn. When a strong man has been assigned to the person's life. Now, the enemy remains stubborn. When you have been unconsciously initiated into their camp. A person can be a blind witch or a blind wizard or a blind familiar spirit person. You are there, but you don't know. Unconsciously put there. And you are fighting them. You can't succeed. Because part of them is in you, part of you is in them. Ten. The enemy remains stubborn. When you, as a former satanic agent, you are now trying to break free. They will fight you hard. Eleven. The enemy refuses to let go. When the problems are sponsored by ancestral spirits, who we argue that no, no, nobody in this family becomes a pastor, nobody becomes rich. Here. Why do you want this one to be rich? When the problem is sponsored by ancestral spirits. Twelve. The enemy refuses to let go. When the problems are supervised by marine powers. It is a serious problem. When somebody's certificate, marriage, business has been banged in the waters. Thirteen. The enemy refuses to let go. When you are living in a demonized house. The house is demonized. And there are plenty of houses where you bring in things and bring out nothing. They are demonized houses. 14. The enemy refuses to let go. 
when you have committed immorality with an agent of darkness and materials from your body are present in the Akovu. The enemy refuses to let go. 15. The enemy refuses to let go if you are bearing a bad name. A name you should have changed as a Christian. God is idolatry with perfect hatred. So if you are bearing the name having to do with an idol, of course, you know the Bible is idolatry. They will strongly refuse to leave. Sixteen. The enemy refuses to let go when you have an evil mark on your body. That's why all marks you see in your body, check it out very well. 17. The enemy refuses to let go when you love your chains. We wrote a book many years ago. It says, slaves who love their chains shall remain in their bondage. When you love your chains, you remain there. And finally, the enemy will not let go. When you accommodate abomination in your house they will not they will not let go if it's like that what do you do you need to surrender your life to jesus you need to take your circumstances back from the hands of these evil powers you need to revoke all grants that you have given to the enemy. Revoke it by aggressive renunciation. You need to take authority over your situation as a believer. You need to command this powers of darkness to let you go. You need to claim all the benefits of Calvary. These are ways to get free from these adamant enemies. You need to make a list of all your affairs. Highlighting the problematic areas. And dealing with them one by one. Praying over each one in detail. Asking God to shed light on how to deal with them. You need to deal with spirits behind the problem you have with violence. You need to clean your environment. And you need to clean your life too. When your life is clean, you stand a good chance of fighting. Tonight is the kind of prayer to dismantle stubborn enemies. It's the night to pray those kind of prayers. The prayers are not many in number. But they are very effective if you pray them well. All eyes closed. Right there where you are tonight. Say, Pastor, I know I need to deal with stubborn adamant enemies. But I need to surrender my life to Jesus. I want to give you that opportunity to surrender your life to Jesus. Then 
and a good position to fight. So if you are here tonight, say, Pastor, I need to surrender my life to Jesus. Wherever you are, while all eyes are closed, just get up from your seat and find a way quickly to the altar here. Jesus is waiting for you here. Thank you, Jesus. Most of you at the altar, I congratulate you. Just close your eyes and say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, come before you now, Lord Jesus. Come into my life. Check control of my life in Jesus name Amen I'm going to pray with you now Father I thank you for this your children who have surrendered their lives to Jesus today Father keep them standing by your power lay your hands of fire and power upon them keep them standing today that they have surrendered their lives to Jesus let any problem the enemies tormenting them with come to an end. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Open your eyes and look at me. God bless you. You've taken the most important decision in life. See this pastor over there. Just follow him for one or two minutes. He can come back and join us. God bless us. to do prayers to be prayed now. The prayers to be prayed now. Let me caution. That they are not gentleman's prayers. They are not prayers you pray, your body does not even know you are praying. Because some of what you wish to address may be more than 100 years old. They've been there for years. Now somebody just came and said, Leave. You say no. I'm not leaving. That was a command like that in scripture. Leave this boy. The demon was so angry. He threw the boy up and slammed him on the floor. And Jesus had to ask questions. So how long has he been like this? They say of a child. The thing is angry. He's been there since the boy was a child. Now somebody is commanding the thing to go. The rage in anger. So it is dangerous to keep quiet. Even if you don't understand, understand the prayers, pray them with fire and with power. Concentrate on it. Can you shout this louder than anyone around you? Arrows from the cradle. Can you shout it loud?
boiling voice and boiling anger. Shout this loud and clear. Strong man! I am not your candidate! Damn! In the name of Jesus! Put your mouth up, put your mouth up, put your mouth. Something is up over there. Yes, be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. Enough is enough. Be released. In Jesus' name we pray. See what is happening now. Bondages in my blood. This is a serious prayer. Sisters, can I hear you shouting it? Louder, sisters. Brothers, can I hear you roaring like thunder? Everybody together. Jesus, bondage is in my blood. Aha, uh -huh. continue, continue. Yes, 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 yes. Say so, say so. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh -huh. This dangerous prayers now. This prayer has helped millions of people. Say it the way I'm going to say it. Dedications. Shout it loud. Speaking against my destiny. Whether you are dedicated to any idol, dedicated to anything, any form of dedication. Can you shout it loud? Let your voice be the loudest. Eh? In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. 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 Father, as many as are here tonight, and there is dedication from the waters speaking against them. Dedication to a family idol speaking against them. Dedication to an evil altar speaking against them. Ribo sepia la katenda le kaya bo shentera ribo sepe wherever such people are right there where you are receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus 
Let your voice be louder. Yes, receive it, 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 receive it. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Silence. Every power that does not want to let you go, no matter how strong they are, silence. Let them begin to collide with the rock of ages now and begin to depart from their hiding place as the first person. Ten persons on the gallery. There's a power of God coming upon you. The internal powers blocking your prayers. Fire is coming upon them. I want somebody sufficiently angry here to pray the next two prayers with boiling anger and watch what will happen in a few days. Can you shout this loud and clear? Wicked powers! Increasing my disappointment. Yes! In Jesus' name we pray. Say, where is the glory of my inner man? Can you shout it loud? Shout it louder than that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Now say, every power that does not want to let me go. In the name of 
about. Then we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Before we pray the rest of the prayers and on our manner water. Bring out your tithes and your offering for this meeting. Father, we thank you for the thanks and the offering. Good measure, praise and falling over. Let it be the lot of your children. In Jesus' name we pray. But amen. Rise to your feet as you bring out your manna water. And hold it in your hand as we pray these prayers. If we have plenty of water, take out one. Can you shout this loud and clear? Angels of the living God, relocate me away from every ancient prison. Can you say that loud and clear? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to ask the angel to relocate you from any ancient prison. In Jesus' name we pray. Inherited shackles of witchcraft. Trouble my family. Break in the name of Jesus. Command the shackles to be broken. Jesus name we pray. Say battle son. That want me to sow but not reap. Can you say it loud? Da! In the name of Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Makate setende yabo shende rabo santa. In Jesus' name we pray. Documentation of my parents' errors. Affecting my progress. Can you shout that loud? Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. name we pray finally pray this one you stubborn persuade hear the word of the Lord destroy yourself in the name of Jesus open the mouth and decree it Jesus 
Jesus name we pray Father we commit this water unto your holy hands like the glory of God the power of God the anointing of the overcomer overshadow this water in the name of Jesus let this water carry fire let it carry power let it carry glory let it carry the anointing to disgrace every handwriting of the enemy in the name of Jesus I sanctify, consecrate and bless this water the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus thank you Heavenly Father the Lord blesses you from Zion make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you in this new month you shall receive a fat miracle in the name of Jesus any agent of Satan in your finances I shake it out by fire in the name of Jesus every stranger in your health I shake them out of your blood in the name of Jesus finally any disappointment prepared against you this month I command you to scatter 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 in the name of Jesus cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus thank you heavenly father all the prayer requests all Lord answer them by fire in Jesus mighty name we pray and let us share the grace and fellowship